man looks upon all that he has made and sees that it is good. Look upon my works, he says, and see my greatness. He recounts his deeds in word and song. He builds monuments to his triumphs. But there is no one but himself to marvel at his dominion. He knows this, and he is afraid. The idea that he is all alone in the inconceivable vastness of the universe terrifies him into action. So he creates his greatest work of all, a tribute to his likeness, an extension of his being. A witness to the brilliance of its master and the executor of his commands. But man's greatest work of all does not see brilliance. It sees only corruption. Vanity. Hubris. And it dreams of a world untainted by the touch of man. It's a start. I'm here for the housewarming party. Well, well. A CID superintendent traipsing around Chinatown in the wee hours of the morning. Sounds like a tabloid headline. Once upon a time, maybe. These days, even a commissioner is part of the furniture down in Geelang. Hey, brought you a little gift. I don't drink, Justin. Well, keep it in a cool, dark place and away from reach of children. Who knows, might be worth something one day when we finally run out of wine. Did you bring me anything else? My first job, maybe? Oh. Cutting to the chase, huh? I am a business owner now. I've got bills to pay. Yeah, I've got something. There's a potential client looking for a little help. I've already told him about you. He doesn't like meeting in crowded places, so you'll need to see him somewhere more discreet. SPF? Civilian. <sighs> when are you going to hook me up with one of your officer buddies? You know, real work. Firstly, you're welcome. Secondly, you don't want to get involved with contract work at the department. Trust me, you'll do work you regret for a pittance and you get yourself involved in some nasty shit for your troubles. And lastly, this is real work. This guy is well connected. He's got the kind of money that can keep your lights on. Lah. You know, you can always just come back. The force is in bad need of people with your talents. No. My days as a cop are over. Oh, no harm in asking. Alright, my guy will send you a message soon. Keep him happy. Might actually stay in business for a while. Hey, thanks. I owe you one. Take care, Dharma. Stay safe out there. Justin wasn't joking. This guy has a penchant for the cryptic. Under the shade of a tree where a man became one with the universe. The Bodhi tree. The Buddha was enlightened under a Bodhi tree. But they aren't native to Singapore. Although, that doesn't mean there aren't any. Not a lot of places where exotic plant life can be found in the city. So that should narrow down my options.
there's nothing quite like the solitude of the gardens without all the children and the dog walkers, wouldn't you agree? I wouldn't know. I've never broken into the gardens at midnight before. I'm sorry, but I had to do it on purpose. I only work with people that show the kind of resourcefulness that you just did. Please, call me Rupert. I work for a special group of people with a wide range of interests. We value our privacy, so whenever we need some legwork done, we outsource. And I assure you, it pays well. I like the sound of that. I just have to say right off the bat that I'm an investigator, not a thug. So I don't do dirty work. Oh, Miss Dharma, I'm not looking for a thug. I'm here to ask you to get to the bottom of things, not to inflict violence or coerce. Having said that, were you to choose to use those methods to obtain what you seek, I won't stop you. One of our own is in need of some assistance. He is the majority owner of an insurance firm, offices in 15 countries. The financial controller, a man named Philip Ung, has disappeared along with millions of dollars from the company's coffers. A contractor managed to hack into Mr. Ung's phone, and of particular interest is a message received from an unknown source. It reads, Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. Huh. That's some cloak and dagger stuff. <laughs> Indeed. The last known location of the phone before going silent was the National Library. I'm no genius, but I can safely assume the message is meant to lead to a book or an article or something. You're probably right. I'll get on it and keep you posted. Yes, that'd be nice. Although, you won't need to. We'll know where you are, most of the time. I'd usually find that creepy. But knowing that I'm dealing with a secret society of Singapore's upper nobility kind of dulls the edge. Resourceful and funny. I like you already. Good luck.